Hey, hey, Shana Tova, everyone. Shana Tova, Cantor Lucy. Shana Tova, Rabbi Matt. And Shana Tova, Matt Turk. Shana Tova, Rabbi Matt, Cantor Lucy. It's so good to see you. And Mrs. Feingold is someplace around here. I don't know what happened to her. I think she's looking for the challah. She's looking for the Jews. But Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova, Mrs. Feingold. And Shabbat Shalom, Shana Tova, Ms. Vivian. All of our friends are traveling around here someplace, but we are so happy to be with you. I know it's a little bit strange, and we've gotten a little bit used to this. You're out there, and we're in here. But listen, we're wearing our white robes, we're wearing our white kippot, and it must mean it is the world's... What is it? You got it. It is the world's birthday. Happy birthday, world. It's 5,781 years old. 5,000... Are you that old? Not quite. You're not. Are you that old? Nowhere near. Hey, wait a minute. Are, 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 are your parents that old? No way. So grandparents aren't that old. Great-grandparents aren't that old. That means it's really, really old. 5,781 years. Now, I was just thinking that I love presents on my birthday. <gasps> Me too. You do, and how about you? Do you like presents? I used to get them. I'm so old now that I don't get them anymore. Oh, well, that, I don't like here. I'm getting you. Right. This, December 11th is your birthday. Isn't that right? I'll be, now listen, you have a little boy at home who loves presents, doesn't he? He loves presents. What's his name? Leo. Leo, and Leo is turning five years old in November. That's right. So he's around your age, you guys out there, around your, and guess what? When you saw her the last time, she had something cooking in her tummy. She was cooking it and cooking it and cooking it, and now it's come out, and her name is? Willa Rose. Willa Rose will be hanging out with you soon. So Leo Shanatova, Willa Rose Shanatova, and all of our friends and family, happy and healthy New Year. We're going to get this going, and we're going to get you going fast. That means you parents outside in those homes, you get ready because your kids are going to lift the roofs off your house. We're going to start it off with a little bim bam which we're going to do with Shabbat Shalom, and we're going to fill in the word Shana Tova. So you come in and join with me. Well, maybe Mrs. Weingold told me that I have permission to be a little silly. I think Lucy's going to even be silly, or Matt Turk's going to be crazy silly. That's how it's going to be. So how about a little bim bam? Here we go. A bim bam. First Shabbat Shalom, then we'll do Shana Tova. How about that? Bim bam. Bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bim. Bam, cheery, beery, beery, bim, bam, bim, 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 bam, bim, 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 bam. You go first. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hey! Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Together! Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Hey! Shabbat, Shalom. Hey! Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shalom. 
bim 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 Shana, 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 tova. Shana, tova. Shana, tova. Shana, 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 tova. Shana, 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 tova. Shana, 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 tova. Shana, tova. Hey, shana, tova. Hey, Shana, 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 Tova. Cherry, berry, berry. Man, that was so much fun. That was so, so much fun. fun. It's like, you know, wishing each other Shabbat Shalom, wishing each other Shana Tova, being quiet, being loud, and we're just getting started. So there's this prayer that some of you who were in school last year started to learn. And those of you who are learning new songs today or new prayers, I promise you, we promise you, you're going to learn all of them. So don't worry about it. You can always go, hmm, 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 hmm. Or you can go, la, 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 la. Or you could sing the words. This next prayer, I would say, if you know it or not, is the most important prayer that we say. The most important prayer. It goes like this. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Try that with me. Say Shema. Shema. Yisrael. Yisrael. Adonai. Adonai. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Adonai. Adonai. Echad. 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 And guess what it means? It means like this. God is one. Everyone show me your one finger. God is one. There's not two gods. There's not five gods. There's not six gods. There is how many? One. One God. And this is how it goes. Cantor. Shema Yisrael. Adonai. so pretty. I think that now that you've heard it, maybe we could sing it together. Absolutely. And sometimes people like to even close their eyes or maybe they make a shin with their fingers and they put them over their eyes. If that feels good to you, you can try anything that makes you feel like you're talking right to God. Now, how can we close our eyes? How can we close our yeah, eyes? Wh wh why do you close your eyes? I close my eyes because it helps me feel like I'm getting really still and I can really feel the words that I'm saying. It really helps me feel like I'm talking right to God. I don't get distracted by anything that's in the room. It doesn't make me want to look around or check things out. So I get to be really quiet and still in my heart and talk straight to God. Now, I don't know about the two of you. That's hard for me. It's hard for me to be still. I'm, you know, me, I get, I'm always going like this, like this. So you think if I close my eyes, it will help me calm myself down a little I bit. I think so, yeah. How about you? Does that work for you? I'm going to try it. I'm going to close my eyes and give it a try. All right, so let's, let's try that. We're going to all sing with Canada Lucy, and let's all try to close our eyes. That's beautiful. Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohim Wow, Karen and Lucy, that's something that is so new for me. Thank you so much, because that really helped me. Like, for a second, I wasn't moving around. I just quieted down and also remembered that God is one. That was so beautiful. You know, one of the things that happens, I don't know about you, but, like, this summer I had a lot of fun. Like, I did a lot of swimming, and I did a lot of biking, and I did a lot of running. 
One time, believe it or not, I was going up this hill called Cherry Lane. Some of your parents may know it. And I was getting to the top of the hill and I fell off my bike. Now, I'm okay, but I had a boo-boo on my knee. I had a boo-boo on my toe. I had a boo-boo on my hand. Sometimes, I bet you some of you fall also and have some boo-boos. Does that ever happen to you? Oh, it happened that time also. Oh, for you it happened over at that time when you were getting into the bus. Yeah, I know. It happens all over the place. So sometimes our bodies get hurt, and sometimes our hearts feel a little sad. Our souls feel a little bit sad because we want to see people more often or because we'd rather be here together than at home. And I know that, but one of the things that we can do together is something called healing. And that means that we try to feel better. We try to wish the yuckies that go away. Right? Is it the yuckies that we want to get rid of? Absolutely. The boo-boos and the yuckies. So for you at home, I'm talking about the little ones. Let's sing about the yuckies. For you, the big ones, the grown-ups, we also could think about the yuckies we want to get rid of. Because all of us, after these months, have some yuckies to say bye-bye to, to heal and to feel better. Why don't you help us sing that song and let's wish and pray those yuckies to go away. Bye bye, yuckies, go away. Don't come back any other day. Bye bye, yuckies, go away. Don't come back any other day. Let's put the yuckies in a blanket and roll it up tight. Put the blanket in a rocket and send it out of sight. Bye bye, yuckies, go away. Don't come back any other day. Bye bye, yuckies, go away. Don't come back any other day. That was so beautiful. So all of our yuckies, let's pray that they go bye-bye. Let's hug each other. That's like another way of putting Band-Aids on. And we're all going to heal and we're all going to feel a lot better. So much so that, again, I'm not going to let you get away. Even on Yom Kippur, even on Rosh Hashanah, we are going to be able to sing some of our silly songs. You all remember that song called Hine. The way it goes is I'm going to sing, you're going to repeat after me. I'm going to sing, you're going to repeat after me. I'm going to sing, and they're going to repeat after me. And we want you to start off, you know, not so silly. And if you really sing loud out there, we're going to get really, really silly. So here we go now. He nay. He nay. Matov. Matov. Uma. Uma. Naim. Naim. Shevera. Again, he nay, he nay, mato, mato, uma, uma, naim, naim, sheverachim, sheverachim, kam, ya, had, he nay, mato, he nay, mato, uma, naim, uma, naim, shevetachim, shevetachim. Gam yachad, gam yachad. He ne matov, he ne matov. Umanayim, umanayim. Shevet achim, shevet achim. Gam yachad, gam yachad. Okay, I don't know about you, but I know it's Yom Kippur. I know this is called the Shabbat of all Shabbats. It's not actually the day of Shabbat, but Yom Kippur is the biggest Shabbat of all of them. But Mrs. Feingold says we could be silly. So if you want to be silly, you want to be silly out there in Yom Kippur? I can't hear you. Do you want to be silly? Okay, then repeat after me. Here we go. Hine! Matov, Matov, Uma, Uma. I said Uma. I said Uma. I said Uma. Uma. 
Naim. 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 version of Hine. You sounded so good out there. We heard you in Short Hills. We heard you in Livingston. We heard you in Roseland, in Maplewood, in South Orange, in Florida, wherever you are, even if you're in Israel, we heard you from here. Now listen, wherever you are, there's one song that I love so much because it's a prayer for the thing that I think is the most important thing in the world. What do you think is the most important, important gift the world could get this year? What do you think it is? I agree. I heard a lot of you say it's peace. It's calm. It's the peace in the world that we all need right now. And there's a song called Osei Shalom that if we sing from the bottom of our hearts, we could help bring peace to the world. Osei Shalom. sing sweeter and swinger, sweeter as we go along, and we really are working to bring peace into our world. I want to tell you something that you probably didn't know. It's interesting, um, and we certainly, especially her, don't look uh, old enough, but do you know that I've known Matt Turk, and I've known Cantor Lucy longer than I actually even know my wife? It's true. I met them both before I met my wife and before we had our kids, and a long, long time ago, uh, Matt taught me this song about a guy named Jonah. Now, I don't mean Jonah who's in your class or Jonah who you play baseball with or you dance with. Jonah was someone who lived a long, long, long time ago and taught us the most important lessons of Yom Kippur. Jonah taught us about how to say we're sorry. 
Jonah taught us that we can't just say we're sorry, but we have to. That's right, you have to mean it. And you don't just have to mean it, but you have to change the way we act. So it's not so bad that we make mistakes. Do you ever make mistakes, Matt? Every day I make mistakes. Lucy, how about you? Me too. You do. So I do also. It's interesting. We all make mistakes. So making mistakes is not a horrible thing. But what a great thing is, is for us to decide after we make mistakes, how to become better people, how to make sure we don't pinch as much and we don't argue as much and we help our parents as much as we can. So I want you to think for a second about what it is that you want to say to the people around you, but not just what, but what you want to say sorry for. Just take a moment. What do you think you want to say sorry for in this year? Yeah, I could hear you. Sorry for pinching. No, sorry for talking a little bit, you know, hard to our parents. Oh, sorry for not saying hello to the doggy when you can. It's okay. Sorry for throwing something on the ground. There's a lot of things that we say we're sorry for. We have to mean it, and then we have to change the way we act. And if we do that, Yom Kippur teaches us that we can become better and better people every single day. All of us can. The three of us and all of you. And that's why we work on this day called Yom Kippur to be better people. So anyway, I was saying there's this guy named Jonah who taught us these lessons way, way back when. Like one of the first ones to teach us these lessons. And he learned it by living in a whale for a little while. Now you're going to hear how in a second. Because Matt's going to sing you a song about Jonah and the whale. And all the lessons he learned. And all the lessons we could learn about making sure that we're better people. And that we always say we're sorry and that we always, always mean it. Matt, you want to sing that song for us? I would love to. God said to Jonah, take a trip to Nineveh and tell the wicked people there they have to change their ways. But Jonah wasn't ready for such responsibility. He got aboard a ship and he tried to run away. Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail A storm began to blow, the sailors, they were terrified And Jonah said, I'm sorry, it's all because of me you see, I made God very angry, and now we're in hot water, and the only way to stop it is to throw me in the sea. Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale, tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale, tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. A giant fish was waiting and swallowed Mr. Jonah. And Jonah cried aloud to God for three whole days and nights. And then the whale spat him out and Jonah swam to Nineveh. And he told the Ninevehans, you better do what's right. Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale. Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail The people all repented, but Jonah wasn't satisfied He said to God, you shouldn't have forgiven everyone Then God taught him a lesson that each of us should follow By looking at ourselves and the deeds that we have done Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail Jonah, Jonah, living in a whale Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail Boy, that Jonah learned a lot of lessons really, really fast that is so important for us today. Now, it's interesting. We learned about the world's birthday. And we learned about saying we're sorry. We did some silly things. We prayed for peace. We talked about God being one. I feel like there's one thing that's supposed to happen on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur that we haven't done. What do you think that is? What could it be? Could it be uh, eating apples and honey? Oh, apples and honey? Oh, no, no, no. You ate apples. You're right. Apples and honey were last week. No, Kendra, Lucy, I know you've been away for a few months, but what is it? 
What is it? Isn't there some kind of trumpet we play today? Oh, trumpet. yeah. Is it, it's a flute, right? A flute. I think it might be a flute. You think it's a, it's flute? a flute? Boys, a flute? Trombone, maybe? Trombone, like this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I know what it is. What does that sound the elephant makes again? Oh, the elephant. How does it go? Meow. Oh, my goodness. It's not even oh. an elephant. Ah! Now, that's the elephant, but I don't think that's what it is. Hmm. Elephant. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Be? Isn't there that ram? Oh, that yeah. ram and the ram blows. No, the ram doesn't blow. He doesn't what? Blow the ram it. gave us a present. Yeah. What's right. the present? For, oh, was it his? It was his horn. Oh, it was his horn. It's called a trumpet horn. No, Rabbi Matt, you know what it's called. I boys and girls, what is it called? It's called the. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's the shofar. The shofar, we have a friend who's going to come in here before we end our service, because you need to hear the shofar. Oh, yeah. And there's a special song that's going to teach us exactly how to blow the shofar, because it doesn't work when you say blow. It nope. doesn't work when you just sort of be silly. It works with certain calls. So this is a young man named Jake. He happens to be my son. He happens to be going to his junior year of high school, and he's a good boy. And uh, Ken and Lucy's going to sing us a song that's going to help Jake blow the shofar, and you just listen. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Let's do that one more time. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Okay, get ready. We're going to give Jake the instructions he needs to blow the shofar the first time. So the words are tekia. Here we go. Tekia. Beautiful. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Shivarim. Tikiya. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Teruah. Shivarim. Tikiya. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Okay, everybody, we have one more, and this is a really important and big one. So in order to help Jake get ready for the final blow, I need everybody to get ready and say Tekia Gadola with me. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Tekia Gadola. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Wow. 
There's been so much going on here uh, this beautiful morning. Again, sorry, and world's birthday, and it's the biggest Shabbat of the year, Yom Kippur. I know it's not Saturday, but it's the biggest, biggest Shabbat of Shabbats and Yom Kippur. We said we're sorry, we're becoming better people. We traveled with Jonah and the whale. But what I want to say to you, and Ken or Lucy wants to say to you, and Matt Turk wants to say to you, is that, you know what we really want? We want you to be healthy. We want you to be happy. We want you to feel sweet. We want you to hug and love your families. Mm -hmm. We want you to be hugged and loved. And you know what? I keep on saying this because I believe this. Ken or Lucy believes this. Matt Turk believes this. Mrs. Feingold believes this. If we keep on sticking together, we will absolutely get to the other side. We're going to see each other like we have been in those tents outside. And then we're going to be inside. And eventually we're going to be right back here in our beautiful sanctuary. So you know what? For Matt and for Cantor Lucy and for me, we want to say happy and healthy new year. Shana tova omituka. A happy and sweet and healthy and meaningful and good new year. We love you from our hearts to you. Shana tova, everyone. Shana tova. Shana tova. Shana tova tika tevu Shana tova tika tevu Tika tevu tika tevu Shana tova tika tevu Shana tova tika tevu Shana Tova. Shana Tova.